Hello, beta testers. Recently, a 20-minute showcase of Saints Row footage was released by developer Deep Silver Volition. Hands-off gameplay, meaning people did not have the ability to play it, and this footage was specifically prepared for the press by the devs. I emphasize this because the footage is rough. PlayStation 3 rough, and how poorly this game handles assets, textures, shadows, and even crowds, or should I say lack thereof, loading, this is nothing short of terrifying considering how close this is to launch. It might not seem significant now, but it'll all add up. I know it's some people's job to act overly excited about mundane things like wingsuits and finisher emotes and cringe writing, but I'm happy to report that I'm old enough to tell you that these things are not new in games and in some instances have been executed better in this very franchise when, over a decade ago at this point, comment something you specifically want to see in the new Saints Row. I've noticed extremely deliberate choices in how they portray their Play-Doh-ass world, and I'm also noticing a, a ridiculous bias in how ironically little they show as it pertains to female customization versus male. I party hard and take genuine and strong offense to this, and I won't mince words about it. In the Saints Row recent customization showcase, a video 23 minutes and 35 seconds in length Volition had no issue showcasing cut men, fat men, all scantily clad, of course, but its portrayal of the female shape variety was non-existent, a deliberate and baffling choice when you are, ironically, trying to showcase how customizable things can be in your game. You're selling this for money, right? I'm currently loving every second of a first-time playthrough of Saints Row 4. A game that came out in 2013. The legends working at Volition at that time did a phenomenal job in offering more anatomical variety than this game 10 years later, and that's bizarre. And you know they'll claim, We're moving away from juvenile jiggle physics and dildos. But if I may shed some insight as someone actually in touch with the consumers, Gamers would have killed for that. They would have paid for it. And if I may be so blunt as to offer you some sense, you would have then been offering something that Fortnite does not. A golden ticket. And that doesn't just make sense, it makes dollars. So, with all due respect to any developer secure enough in their sexuality to not be terrified of tits, Fuck the fragile volition pussies so ready to razor blade over the idea of a curvy blessed woman. Hats off, by the way, because blocking the, the world on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter must be a round-the-clock fucking job. You should be genuinely ashamed. Not showing strong, full-figured, beautiful, real women with the same energy and sense of equality that the franchise used to have back when they were ironically, certainly, staffed with way more men. You're not just a clown, you're the whole circus. And I'm sorry your rejections make you so miserable that you tried and failed to make your exclusive preference the only choice. Consider that trans women, gay men, drag queens, and more would love to create their perfect big titty waifu. And it's not just woke, which I would tolerate. It's basically moronic from a business perspective. A single screenshot, a video clip, or satisfied player would do wonders in free marketing for your game via word of mouth. But y'all allergic to money? Looking again at this clip from the Game Awards, this is what's being pushed these days, and you would have actually scored points for showing a big titty lady with a fat fucking bulge. It'd be laughs from all aisles, but you chose moron instead of money. You chose foolishness instead of funding. 
The superior iteration of your studio created something pleasing enough that fans contributed towards a lucrative trilogy plus. A statue so tall, Volition, that you can sell real estate in its shadow, and your crotchety out of touch gambit is to piss everybody off with clearly confused takes on a world you're a fucking stranger to. This is, this is like a live action Netflix animation. I mean, are you trying to out Batwoman or out? You know, what, what are you doing? I didn't think that anyone could blow their first impression as it pertains to trash character designs at a glance like Marvel's Avengers did with its fucking Chinese knockoff still buggy garbage. But it was clearly some sort of hold my Cosmo tier challenge to you. I hope that this re is what you were seeking in your 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 passionate destruction <laughs> of of something that really it, why why you know saints row is 10 years old why dig it up to kind of like stoke it's a stab it in front of people and go ooh ooh you hate that don't you ooh with the first trailer making it abundantly clear that saints row has no identity and is just clinging to the name for relevance since it definitely could not stand up on its own and sell shit fight me in the comment section this neon design screamed fortnite but worse and paradoxically, with all the times that you drop the phrase asymmetrical face outside of stupid skin textures, you really don't have anything to show, clearly. So your showcase, much like the women that you have shown off, falls flat. What's properly amusing is that I'm not being colorful here. This is what 36 looked like on your chests. Does it mean like it bends into the chest cavity if you go down to zero? This is what 36 looked like in Saints Row 4 when the devs weren't insecure Jordan Peterson ass rat dicks scared of the female form. And there it is, side by side. Look, the more you celebrate one type of woman and exclude the others, you know, you're reinforcing the, the preference of vampiric ghouls that value women so little that they'd rob you of the choice of whether or not to birth a child. Oh, God. You reinforcing that. Who, who, whose side are you on? Shake the stupid loose from your bitch ass. <laughs> Please. Please. And sell some fucking copies here. Make some fans. You know what I mean? Fund your future. When players don't see jiggle physics, they, they probably instantly think, okay, this team's less fun. When they see you showcase uh, putting a nade in a guy's mouth and then throwing him, and that's like all that you have to show, it makes people think you're lacking creativity. You need to cut something and make it seem like your game it, it, it doesn't need to be delayed again. Showing people that they have a choice, this is good. Showing people their only choice, by definition, makes it not a choice. I don't want to touch characters. I don't want to touch writing. It's. It, I feel like it's going to be a series of tell me about it. That went well. <laughs> I bet that sounded better in your head. You know, shh, fuck you. Fuck this. Y'all auditioning for Life is Strange out here. It's not hard to write on that game. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just tell somebody, hey, I need to write on this. Cut your hair, stupid. You know, cut your hair like one of your characters in your game. Terrible, terrible. There's the there's what the impression is like for most people that are just like, what the hell is this? You're trying to appeal to the Fortnite kids. They're going to look at this and go, um, why? I'll wait. You know what I mean? Is this good? Is this going to be free? And you sell some some microtransactions. That's the it's the only way. What if you sell people the ability to look good? Is that something that you can? I'm, oh, no, I mean, the ladies, because the fellas are like the way you work that. And then I'll put in some uh, Missy Elliott. Beam and beam and beam. Mmm. GameSpot spotted that in spot. Oh, spot me. GameSpot spotted that inside a minute, the character repeated the same dialogue three times while in a fight. And I repeat, this is footage specifically cultivated by the developers to show their game. What were you thinking? Did you give it like a, a did two people watch it? You know, did maybe a third pass next time to, to have people going, maybe we shouldn't release this. The perfect analogy for Saints Row wearing its daddy's clothes is like trying to make a sequel of a titty and gore centric slasher flick, but trying to get a fucking G rating on it. Fuck you.